This is the new A8, and it's easily the most technologically advanced car that Audi has ever built. Now, while it's bigger, it's more luxurious, it's even faster than it was before, it's got a whole lot of other tricks up its sleeve. So this is the first level three autonomous car to be released. Now, what does that mean? It means it's got lasers, it's got cameras, it's got ultrasonic scanners that can tell exactly what's happening on the road around it. It means this A8 can actually drive itself in a traffic jam. There's only one catch. We're not gonna be getting that sort of technology when it's initially released in the middle of next year. But there's plenty of other stuff to tell about it. So let's go out on the road and have a go. This is Audi's fourth generation A8 and is a large luxury sedan. It's built to do battle with the likes of the Mercedes S-Class and BMW 7 Series, not to mention the Lexus LS and others. It's a bit bigger than before, and if you think the standard wheelbase version at 5.1 metres long is a whopper, the long wheelbase A8 adds another 130 millimetres to that. So if you like travelling in the back seat on the way to business meetings or the first class airport lounge, you may be seeing a bit more of the A8's spacious back seat. So we're initially going to get two versions of the A8 in Australia when it arrives in the middle of next year. There'll be a V6 diesel, which has got 210 kilowatts, and there'll be a V6 turbo petrol, which is about 250 kilowatts. After that, there's a good chance that the V8 will return. There's a four litre turbo version of that that's got much more power. And either of those come in standard wheelbase form or a long wheelbase form, which has got plenty of room in the back. Even the standard version is actually quite well set up in that area. Now, if you want the petrol V6, it goes very well. It's probably a bit smoother than the diesel. Plant your foot, off you go. Probably shouldn't be doing that around town. Apart from the technology, and we'll get to that in a minute, one of the best things about this new A8 is the refinement. Now, we're going quite slow at the moment, but at highway speeds, there's almost no noise at all. The wind noise, it's very subdued. It rides beautifully. All cars will come standard with air suspension. We won't get the adaptive air suspension, which offers a couple of um, different features that, we'll, that uh, Europeans will be getting at first. Let's get back to the autonomous driving capability of the car, which will eventually filter down to cheaper Audi models and almost undoubtedly become available in Australia when legislation catches up with technology. Audi groups the A8's assisted driving suite under the heading of AI, and it includes the ability to take over driving duties in stop-start traffic at speeds of up to 50 km per hour. The driver hits a button, then can start doing emails, watch a movie or read a book while the A8 handles the chore of negotiating the jam. From the driver's seat, that's quite interesting actually. Um, there's a lot of tech going on here. It's actually got three screens. The um, instrument panel is obviously a projected thing, which is uh, the thing for Audis these days. Um, so you can change it so it shows either navigation or what look like more standard instruments. There's a large 10.1 inch display which covers everything, GPS, um, stereo control, infotainment, phone apps, all that sort of thing. Then below it, the HVAC or the ventilation controls, I suppose, they've been integrated in yet another screen. And I suppose from a looks point of view, and Audi do this so well, the way that they can set up their interiors, there's no bezel around it, it's just a flat plane screen that when it's turned off it pretty much disappears and it looks much the same as the rest of the dashboard. You've got a lovely four spoke steering wheel, the seats have got ventilation of course, there's little holes there that uh, blow cool air around your back and nether regions if you want. And really as a cruise mobile it works very well. Other capabilities include automatic parallel parking, where it looks after steering, braking and throttle, or if the spot is really tight, the driver can get out and manoeuvre the empty car into the parking place using a smartphone app. One piece of technology we'll definitely get is four-wheel steering, that gives this very large car a ridiculously tight turning circle at lower speeds, while making it more manoeuvrable on the open road. So it's comfortable, roomy, surprisingly nimble and very high tech. And if it's remembered as the car that ushers in a brave new world of autonomous driving, the A8 could even gain a place in automotive history.